Okay, as we continue on our multiplication journey today, we are going to be looking at patterns of multiplication. So go ahead and get your journal ready and start taking notes with me. Today's pattern that we're going to be looking at is the power of tens. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some patterns. Um, you should be able to know this right away, um, but if it's a reminder, then fantastic. Sometimes we need reminders. All right, here we go. Six times eight. I can do my counting song. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 48. Now, I have six times 80. The best part is that I can just look at the six times eight is 48, and I know that I've got groups of 10. Six times 800. I know six times eight is 48, 48 hundreds. Six times 8,000 will give me 48 thousands. So there's a hint. The hint is that there's a pattern. I don't want you to spend all day figuring out the pattern, but just take a look at it. The hint is to count the zeros you're multiplying by and to just tack them on the end. Go ahead and do slides number three and four, using our pattern hint. Now we're going to go ahead and learn how to decompose and recompose numbers to figure out why this actually happens. Which means that we're taking numbers apart and then squishing them back together, which is really great. So we're going to start with the numbers four times 70. What we're going to do is we're going to actually use stickies to help us out. I have 70 and four, four times 70. So we can really see how this is happening. So I have four times seven, but my seven is actually seven times 10. So when I'm decomposing, I'm actually going four times seven times 10. And then I'm going to recompose it by multiplying these two numbers together. So four times seven, I know is 28. So that was my four times seven. And now I'm just gonna multiply times 10 one more time. So four times seven times 10. And then I multiply them all together. Four times seven times that 10. And that is how we decompose these numbers. Let's try another one. I'm going to do six times 5,000. And what we need to do is decompose it again I'm going to use some stickies to help us out. So my 5,000 and my six. I have six here, which is easy. Now 5,000 I know is actually five groups of 1,000. So I have six times five times 1,000. And then we do exactly what we did before. We're going to multiply six times five is 30 and we're bringing our thousand down times 1,000 and we have our 30 and then we have our one, two, three zeros times 1,000 is 30,000. So we can also move this one step further in case we're missing a number on the other side. So what I mean by that is if I have 7,000 times a number, and I don't know what that number is, but I do know that the answer is 49,000. I have to stop and think, well, I remember that my pattern is that the zeros transfer over. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cover up my zeros. They don't exist anymore. So let me go ahead and get a couple sticky notes and do that. So now I don't even have to worry about those zeros right now. I can just think seven times what is 49? I know that seven times seven is 49. So my answer is going to be seven. So 7,000 times seven equals 49,000. Go ahead and pause the video and work on slides one through seven using these ideas of the multiplication patterns.